Hi there. In this explanation, I would like to uh, explain to you about how to find an IA topic and an IA title. Uh, this part usually takes the longest uh, be, and also the majority of the students find it uh, difficult. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll, I will uh, give you this method, which I call a backward method. Okay, you can read the steps by yourself later on but the first step that you need to know is uh, deciding on the mathematical process okay now the matter the most common uh, mathematical process is correlation usually used in conjunction with mathematical modeling students use this students find it easier uh, to produce and to explain so we will we'll use correlation uh, in this presentation so correlation is basically the, the relationship between, between x and y values. For example, take a look at this data. Uh, this is the uh, scatter plot of the number of cars and revenues of a particular car wash. Okay. And as you can see, there is an, an uptrend, increasing trend. Uh, meaning as the number of cars increases, the revenues also increases. Now we are going to find the same thing, the same set of data, hopefully, yeah? And in order to achieve that, we need to begin with uh, finding our area of interest. So that will be the uh, second step. So you can choose uh, an area of interest for your IA Okay. It can be business or entertainment, traveling, cooking, etc. But in this example, I will uh, choose welfare. Okay, so let's try to find uh, a set of data available uh, that relate to welfare. Uh, keep in mind, I will be using secondary data, not primary data, because the objective of this presentation is uh, trying to do an I a the easier way. Yeah. Although, if you can do, uh, if you can uh, collect primary data, that would be perfect. Right. So this is a set of secondary data, uh, which is acquired from Central Statistical Agency of Indonesia. So it's, it's the data is about population and water supply, and obviously by theory, as the population increases, water should, water supply should increase. So let's. Let's plot the data using Microsoft Excel. You can uh, use any uh, graph plotting software that you prefer. Doesn't have to be Excel. There you go. The data looks good. This shows an upward trend, yeah, which is what we want. We want a, a, a clear a possible trend. But there are some issues, such as slow growth in 2001 until 2003 that requires explanation and also there's there's a population jump in 2003 to 2004 it's quite significant from 7.45 million to 8.7 million so that also requires uh, explanation so you can actually use this data uh, provided you can answer what happened here with these two uh, matter but as for me I will look for another set of data okay so this is a set of data B still in the area of interest of welfare it's about GDP or, or gross domestic product and unemployment rate in Indonesia okay this is the the source of the data okay uh, just by looking at, at, at the values, uh, it looks pretty good. As the gross domestic product increases, increases unemployment rate uh, should decrease. But let's take a look at the scatter plot. Let's generate scatter plot. Yep. Yep. This decrease. Uh, there's, there's a clear uh, decreasing trend. There's a gap as well, but not too significant if you relate that. Okay. 
still still can be explained easily I think because it's not too big in 2009 to 2010 and 2010 to 2011 which is okay I think this is a pretty good data okay so we can choose this data okay let's work on the topic and the title there you go topic is Indonesian welfare the title is modeling the correlation between gross domestic product and unemployment in Indonesia that's it you have a topic and a title okay, let's take a look at another set of data this is data C still in the area of interest of welfare okay this is about poverty and birth rate and these are the sources of the data again secondary data it looks good the data looks good let's generate the graph yeah pretty good there is an increasing trend okay because as the poverty increases birth rate uh, increases as well uh, according to this data yeah we can use this data but keep in mind we are in 2020 so we need to update a bit we need to add two more years if it is available that will be great yeah uh, it will improve your IA better yeah we can use this data and the topic of course is Indonesian welfare and the title is modeling the correlation between poverty and birth rate in Indonesia okay there you go a, a quick uh, method on how to find an IA uh, topic and an IA title so please try and um, hopefully you can find one in no time uh, in my next presentation what I will do uh, I will explain to you what to do after you have uh, you have found an IA topic and an IA title okay